All right, we know Blender Geometry Node has changed the way lots of people create things. Geometry Node creation and procedural modeling, procedural, you know, things is now part of our everyday. But what we're going to look at today is by far one of the most innovative use of Geometry Node. And it's just wild the kind of territories that Blender Geometry Node is getting into. And today we're looking at the off-road rig generator setup for Blender Geometry Nodes that will change the way you animate cars in Blender. And the best part, this is totally for free. And for anyone who likes to get this from Blenderies, link is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. So if you download the rig setup, you will be welcomed with something that looks exactly like this. And how you get to play with this is very simple. The very first thing which you like to do, of course, because you know, it's called a rig for something, is to go over to the timeline and let's stretch this out a bit and also bounce this all the way back, press the playback button. And automatically you would notice that it starts moving. Something that makes this even tick more is this, that at any point in time, it gets on a surface. If you choose to raise this surface, I would like you guys to notice something. Let's get this right here and push this all the way up. And you notice that it responds. By every means, you would actually need to create a sort of complex setup, nothing this easy for you to achieve something like that. At any point in time, you're working on a particular landscape and you select that landscape and you choose to do something on the landscape. For example, we like to play with the strength of the displacement that we have. I'd like you guys to notice that the car automatically adjusts to it. Most of you guys will be asking questions like, okay, how can I get this for myself? What can I do with this? Is this the only thing that it does? No, this is not the only thing that it does. If you take a closer look, you would notice that there is a spline that controls the movement. This spline can be altered at any point. So you have to select the spline, press the tab key, and then to any of the nodes that you select, you can proceed to make changes. So let's just simply go ahead and make a change like so. And I would like you guys to also notice that the car adjusts to these changes. If you have colliders when exploring with the spline, I would like you to also take a look at it and you would notice that the car dynamically adjusts to its underlying surface, creating collision and making it a bit more realistic, especially if you're thinking about creating landscapes and you like cars to travel across them. Away from this, let's explore the geometry node parameters that comes with this rig. So at this point, if you're trying to make a certain rig for yourself, you can increase the wheel size by increasing the scale. And this also affects how the animation plays back. For every single vehicle that you might want to work with, you can also play with certain features. So if we go over to where we have the width, you can play with the width, the span, and this is very useful, especially if you have a custom body that you like to replace the test vehicle body with. And at the same time, you'll also notice that you have some body adjustments, which you can do. So if you like to adjust the body forward, backward, all that stuff, you have a turning range, which you can, you know, play with. So you can play with the turning range if this is also what you want. And this is very, very useful, especially if you have corners like this, you like the car to turn, you have the suspension, the brakes, all those things are there. So. How do you customize this for yourself? And especially if you like to replace these things and how you can do that is very simple. So right here, you would notice that we have some stuff. Let's just go ahead and switch these to a brand new layout. Perfect. So once you take a look at this, you'll notice that we have the body and then we have the tires. So what this means is if we choose to create a mesh, and in this case, we're just gonna create a cube, I can replace this cube right here. And to do that is very simple because all you need to do is make sure that you have the cube, let's rename this and call this cube car. All right, that sounds nice. So we can rename that and call that cube car. And with the cube car that we have here, once we select the setup, we can go all the way to the modifier, scroll all the way down and change the body to cube car. So once we set this cube car, I want you to see that we have it right here. Some very interesting things that you can do with this consists of the following, that if you select this rig setup, you can set this all the way up if this is what you want. At the same time, if you like to extend this, I would not suggest that you scale it. Scaling this will not solve anything because you know it just doesn't work that way. So what you need to do is select it, press the tab key, tap three on the keyboard, select any of the surfaces you want, and you can extrude it. If you choose to drag, nothing happens, okay? So you need to extrude it, so we're going to tap E on the keyboard and we can extrude that part all the way out. And at the same time, we can do the very same thing here. Tap E on the keyboard and extrude this part out as well. And if there's any form of modeling you like to do, you can now proceed to do all of that if you like to create a base model by modeling them yourself. And once you're done with this, you can now play back and experiment with what you have. Now to push things and make them a little bit more interesting, if you do own tools like 
the polygonic tools, then of course you can use them. So we do have the polygonic traffic tool and it is also a delight to work with. So in this case, what you may want to do is simple. You can go over to the spawn section, select one of those vehicles that you have here, and you can get those vehicles right in. So I'm just going to select any of these ones, make them a detable and click on OK. Now, this is very useful, especially if you do own a copy and you're thinking about working with this particular rig based on the fact that it's geometry related. It has the terrain, the collision and all of that stuff. So how you can work with this is also very similar to what we did earlier. So all you need to do now is just to make a copy. So I'm just going to hit Shift and D on the keyboard to make one copy. And the copy that we made exists right here. So I'm just going to find that copy and it's called Mercedes Buddy 001. So with that, if we go back, so let's just bounce this all the way back and select this. So once we select it and go all the way down, we can change the cube car, which is our experimental car and set this to the Mercedes body 001. Now you would notice that it flips up to this point. Now, if we scroll all the way down here, you would also notice that we have something that earlier, what we could only change was the height. So we can't change the rotation. So what does this mean? This means that if you like to make changes to this, you need to go to the base model itself and press the tab key, press A on the keyboard to select all, and you can proceed to rotate the entire model. Now, once you're done rotating the entire model, you can adjust this model to fit into the tires that you have. And by all means, if you like to change the tires, you can also go over to the modifier section and you can change that with the geometry node parameters. But in this case, we're just going to keep up with the one that we have already and we can proceed to do some very nice updating to the entire rig and use Botanic, which is also a tool from the folks at Polygonic to throw in that beautiful landscape set of vegetations that comes with it. So with this done, let's now talk about collision. So we've seen how you can change the body, the tires and all that stuff, but we haven't talked about collision and that is one of the cool things that comes with this particular rig. And how you create a collision asset is very simple. I'm just going to hold down shift and right click right here so that we can put something there. What we can do is go over to the polygonic section, go to the botanic. And for that one, I'll click on spawn, scroll all the way down to where we have some rocks, find any of these rocks. I'm just going to select, let's select this rock. And for now, we're not going to make it a detail. Click on OK to get that in. Scale this all the way. I would like it to be position it right here. So we would like to use that, you know, simply replace this. I'm going to move this to a position like that. And right now I can now click on convert to edit table. Now, the best part about all of this is very simple that if you do own something that you would like to use as a collision, you only need to grab that and throw it into the collision container. So if we select this now, we can simply click, drag and drop it inside the collision object container collection, you know, and once we drop that there and we go through, let's hide this other one, press H on the keyboard to hide that. If we press the playback button now, you would now notice that we have a custom vehicle and we have a custom collision just happening. And you can see that so we can position this however you want. And you can also notice that the car responds to it. So we can push this around if we want that. If we like to bring this lower, upper, lower. And uh, I guess this has a, a tiny thing going on. So let's also go through and drop that. If we move backwards, come back, it still sees the other one. So we would also go ahead and grab that. Uh, I think that's this one. Let's hide that. You now notice that it currently responds to our custom rock, which now exists right within the collision object. And for sure, you can duplicate these as many times as possible. As far as it exists within the collision container, it's definitely going to be a collision object. And you can choose to make copies of the car rig and get so many things in your scene. This is more like it for those who've been thinking about stuff like this, or maybe you've been looking for something that is this free that you can use. You can definitely go over to the link in the description and check these things out for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.